Howdy, how are you all doing? New location in, within the same tiny little flat. And here comes a lunatic of a dog. Hello. Oh, come here. Oh, no. Dog over there. Gonna sit there and stare at me. This is a random one for me. For the last few months, I've been making a lot of things and creating more and more things to fill this flat up because you know how much space I've got. Hence the new wall of randomness including Medusa and some things and that thing you've not even seen yet. But I just felt like I was overdoing it with the same content. So today, after a lot of contemplating what can I do that's different, that is still kind of creative, is not just making another model or building another barn or painting another flow art painting. It's something I've never done before. It's what we do on this channel. Always trying to do something new. This one's a bit random. Q&A questions. My friend Peter, Pete the Courier Driver does a Q&A question every single Sunday without foul, talking to other lorry drivers and courier drivers and all that, and they ask him questions. I've been asked questions over a few years and I've always tried to reply to them, but I've noticed that people don't always read the comments and then will ask them the same question. So today I'm going to answer the questions and explain some stuff and tell you what's happened and so forth. Okay, so laptops in front of me models and things around me so I can try and point at some things and explain stuff and I'm going to go through the comments if there's a question here from you you've probably had the answer and a hell of a lot of the questions come from the same people namely Tora who leaves comments all the time and he's good and thank you and whatever and Peter as I said my, my friend Peter is a career driver guaranteed leaves me a comment on every single video so thank you Peter I'm going to go back in time so most recent is at this time of recording the K-pop stands video it's probably baffled most of you crafters and things like that out there because you probably have got no clue what I'm on about 90% of the time when I'm talking about K-pop. If you don't know what K-pop is, it's Korean pop music and it's been inspirational for um, my flow art paintings, used the covers of some of the albums and I've shown some of the albums off because they're like buying LPs, I guess, when people bought LPs and they had lots of different things in them, the gatefold albums and things like that. And when you buy K-pop albums now, you get booklets, photo books and cards and people actually trade the cards somewhat, but they keep them and they're precious. And, and some of the photo shoots in that are amazing. And I really like music. I rarely listen to very much else, but every single band has a fan club fan base and they have the name or a term acepers are called mys stray kids are called stays bts are called army but pinks are blinks to name like the big ones and then it goes down to flovers and in jeans and, and it kind of made a story in my head so i wrote out the story and then i started to animate it. and the animation you saw of the k-pop stands video which will be linked up there has taken me best part of this year to draw and it, although it looks a bit rough and a bit glitchy in places, it's all drawn frame by frame on Procreate and then animated and matched to the story I created. So that is why that went up. So that two and a half minute video with Tora talking, telling the story of an engine and a spaceship and so forth. That's the reason, that's the story. Please, if you haven't seen it, go and watch it. And if you are a K-pop fan, and you're here for some reason, or you want to be a K-pop fan, go watch it, see how many you can name. At the end of it, it comes up with the actual story and then it'll show you the bands. Yeah, it took a lot of work. A new new subscriber, most probably the most recent subscriber, Campaign Terrain. Thank you for the comment about the jewellery, the pendants and things from the flower paintings. They are available on Etsy and the links are on the, the link tree. I kind of want to find some other location, some other place to sell them. Etsy are pain they're taking too much money and causing problems and things anyone know of any locations any other sites i can sell that is actually going to get me some sales uh the flower paintings um and the pendants and the magnets and the tiles and all that are currently on Etsy, but i'm looking somewhere else taurus i'm not actually gonna ask this i asked her i don't think i'm actually gonna ask her she said she left me a comment of are you going to do another huge project anytime soon huge what what like my tiny baba yaga castle um, house which was meant to be this and it ended up becoming the thing that was out there and it ended up getting turned into a birdhouse because it's so bloody massive she sort of trying to prompt me to do more big things because i've got so much space you know this is meant to be 
done at some point. I mean, to turn that from her into something else. And I've had her for like 10 years and I've never actually got around to doing it. This stuff. This stuff has probably got the most comments of any video ever. XPS foam in the UK is a nightmare to get. A while back I bought some, um, what I thought was XPS foam, turned out to be polystyrene with a film cover. And it started what I called foam gate. And then recently I bought this stuff off of eBay and I think I've solved the issue. Because you could buy it, but you had to buy 20 sheets, uh, eight foot by four foot, well, two meters sheets. Where am I going to put it? Mike at that one video did suggest somewhere, but there was the thing buying it in bulk or buying it from Germany and getting shipped, which ends up being as much money as buying 10 sheets. So I did find somewhere on eBay that sells it. So it's available. Yeah. So campaign to the rain again. Thank you. Great job on the uh, calcifer. It was a candle burner, incense burner. That was for in that one video. Discord, you saw it when I did it and I did it on the live video. Tora left some comments on other quotes that Calcifer says. I don't cook, I'm scary and powerful fire demon. I didn't, I couldn't find any. When you look it up, all it says is you're gonna eat and leave me after I've done all the hard work. If you haven't seen what I'm on about, go watch videos. All the videos are underneath or on the video channel. If you're not subscribed and you're watching this and you're thinking what the hell is this guy talking about? Click subscribe, then go and watch the videos. In that order, because 95% of people watching these videos are not subscribing. Why? Please. Ben eats cement. He's hardcore. I'm sure that's a bad joke. I have a strange neighbour. He's called Weird Ben. And he eats all these manner of powders and things. And he's vegan and really nice, really helpful. Does anything for me. But he turns up with the most random things and goes, OK, so. And he talks like this. And he's like, oh, right. And yes, so. You've got to eat this. Take a, a, a cup of ground up cement every day. Drink it. I don't understand how he's alive. He is, but he's, yeah, he's very strange. I've seen him eat and it's not a pleasant sight. It goes everywhere, it's poofs of... The hazmat suit, so yes, was needed for the fiberglass, drilling in the fiberglass thing that almost killed me. I have got a scar on my hand that is very definitely going to stay where I cut my hand and then got fiberglass in it and it's very definitely scarred. Ah, the, the Jazza app. Now this, this is a comment a month ago for a video I did like three years ago. So it shows some of these are and some, when people watch it. Someone said, I missed the original app. This was the best five bucks I ever spent. It was pretty good. The, the Jazza Arty Games app, you use it to, uh, to prompts. You can do time lapses. You can do, do Pictionary and you do games on it. And I did a review of it and I re drew out a character, which I think was a guy in a football outfit pulling a sword from a stone but that was yeah three years ago campaign terrain again don't know about album covers but i've got a few ideas for battle board base covers so that when you're doing games and D and warhammer and things yeah i could do that we could do a big like bald flower art board and have it so might be an idea come back to that um i really appreciate the crafters that show their oopsies yeah there are always oopsies <laughs> There's never, there's never a, a video that goes smoothly. There's always something goes wrong, hence the scars and the... Now there's the making stuff, breaking stuff, burning stuff, poisoning myself because it seems to be coming a regular occurrence. The Le Seraphim flow art painting, they did the original one, the first one, which didn't really work. See, some people see things in it. When you put them down, and I don't see them, and you see random shapes. Um, there's a comment for, there's a large white tiger in one of them. I didn't see that. I missed so many pun op opportunities in that the Seraphim thing. Yeah, I did. There was like, this painting's not anti-fragile. I will be unforgiven for this. Yeah, I didn't paint Eve Psych or Bluebeard's wife. Again, you have no idea what I'm talking about because you're not a K-pop fan. Yeah, if you are, comments, random puns for the Seraphim. Ah, Mari Bishop. Can I say thank you for showing a messy workbench? <laughs> so many sterilised videos of crafting and everyone who crafts knows that your table is never tidy. A mat here, a cutting mat, which is covered in paint. There's always paint brushes and pens and there's paint on my hands and there's, there's bits of XPS foam and sellotape and glue and 
And I do not know how, when you see people making stuff, how they are so meticulously clean. Miss Minnie Life, when she does these things, does these tiny little like, dollhouse things. And it's spotless, it's pure white and clean. She will admit she's not like clean and thinks she's chaotic and does things wrong and breaks things. But her videos are always pristine and clean. Uh, but yes, mine, making the, uh, the old library, it was a mess. There was books everywhere and bits of paper and foam and sticky and gluey and I was sticking myself to the table. And... <sighs> so yes, there'll always be a mess. Don't worry. And I'm not apologising for the mess because yeah, it doesn't look right when they're all tidy and clean. Lance, Lance, Lance Huntsman, if you're watching, I forgot to say this, but you are, or you were, the 100th subscriber. I looked it back and so I've only hit 100. But yeah, you're the 100th subscriber. Thank you. He he left a whole, we ended up having a whole conversation about the sculptor mould, how to make sculptor mould for yourself rather than paying the 80 pounds that you is for a bag of it these days and when i get around to using it again which i haven't i will i will try his method which is to heat it and do it and not mix the plaster in until later lance and then carl makes stuff carl ran the discord challenge that it was all for so and they both came up with lots of details about how to make the sculpture so watch this space probably be like a, in the winter and it's dark and horrible and i'm fed up again i'll be i'll get around to making more sculpture mold and building something and we'll possibly try their methods so i've got to remember to come back to these jl mavic very nice results for the for her this thing there's a tiny medusa i had struggled with that because it was so small and he again he came up some simple things like scrubbing them down and making them um, whatever. There is a dog barking. This dog has not stopped barking all day. It, it broke tiny pins breaking and things like that very hard. He suggested buying crocodile clips on a stick so you can hold them and paint them. Way back in the bird, Abiyaga house into a bird house. I've had visitors, had people come to look, but no one's moved in. There's no, the for sale sign's still up. So the bird feeder gets a bit of traffic. The random one. On that Bubby Yoga thing, I used to put music, which, you know when you hear it back and someone says it where it is and you go, yeah, it was the Staunton Lick. Anyone know the Staunton Lick? Playing it back, I went, oh yeah, lemon jelly. Yeah, lemon jelly? Um, something like that. I've just got to shut all the windows and doors so that I can mute the noise as best as possible because that dog is never going to shut up. My dog, he's sitting on the sofa looking at me like, what are you doing? Go back to sleep, it's okay. The say, oh God. I'm not picking it up, I'm sure fall apart. The say, making Sabre, um, the little figure that I made out of uh, like an arty doll, one of those drawing things, and I made it and I glued this stuff and, uh, and it came out really well. I was really pleased with it. In the I got the comments I got on it are random. One, I got, I don't understand why I'm on this video. I don't know, I don't do craft things. I watch anime. But it's an anime character, that's why you end up on this channel. Tan the Magus. Thanks, Tan the Magus. I hope you stayed around. Maybe you come back again. And the other comment was, you seem to be growing a moustache. I've got to say, this newer um, ring light on desk adapter and ring light is really good. Except the ball joint is crap. <laughs> the ball joint that holds the ring light and the camera up, it's like it, you only have to touch it and it falls. And it literally just goes bloop. I got a fiver back because it was going to cost me more money to send it back to get repaired. To, to, they don't take back 40 things. You have to send it back at your own cost. Not good, no. So the ball joint is iffy. JL Mavic again, the making the, if you can see her, this thing here. That model, another one is really good comments. He's off, he builds loads of these, these 2046 models. First thing is to wash the parts with mild soap and water and remove all the old oils from molding. This helps the glue adhere to and painting. Use epoxy glue. Sanding joints helps. Look at the pictures of on the 206 of the assembled kits when in doubt. Yeah, because some of them don't come with instruction manuals and you sit there going, what? You've got these random little tufts of things and it's like, uh, I got another comment on that, um, which I deleted, which was, I hope you die. You should be ashamed of yourself. This is, if anyone in Japan sees this, they would have a heart attack. How dare you? This is disgusting. I hope you die. I think it's because I gave her the wrong color dress. Um, I changed the setting. I don't know. I made the diorama of it rather than just painting it as it's 
done exactly in the box. But yes, whoever you are, you got blocked. So you're not going to probably going to see this. Back to her. Greek gods are vengeful. Medusa, in looking up and reading the story, my vest, not it's not nice. She was still beautiful, apparently, but you could never look at her because she turned to stone. But you'd see something very pretty. <laughs> yes. On the book nook, someone wrote me this entire comments and something, all in Russian, all in Celeric Russian, the formal Russian. Well, I guess she left it because she can't write it. And I literally had to go and translate it. And then I just wrote back, I've just gone and translated this. And yes. Go translate it all again. Let's see what Google Translate comes over with. That's useful. It turns it into Norwegian. Although my no, my Norwegian is not great. It's like a story. If it's a snack a long shot. If it's a snack a foot. If it's a story. If it's a story. Me. Commenter below. I don't think commenter below is right. And so the translation of and then the end, the final touch is done, the places, the shelf is found, the light is turned on and in the secret library. What is the feeling? Peace. What a desire for new heights. The work is creative and individual and full of character and energy. That was worth translating. So whatever your name was, Fio Dio, thank you. That was, a, that was really like the best comment ever. It was like, it was in Russian. <laughs> SMD123, is it? I'm okay on the inches and centimetres from. I take measure things in centimetres and inches and feet and kilometres and metres and miles and all man. I, I switch about, I always have done. I think it's that grow up doing GCSEs and A-levels and O-levels and CSEs and before SATs, I think that was. Oh, fashion I made and designed and made a little while ago. I was, I was doing a... Da, 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 I didn't know what it was. Jamie and the Magic Torch. Weird things that are just stuck in the back of my brain. This is a very interesting video. For the video, like descriptions, in the video, there is a, a lot of useful things in this video. All jokes aside. Oh, right. Brandon Sanderson references. I've pissed off a lot of people with that. But as a, I, I have a very he strongly held opinion that Brandon Sanderson can't write. I know people disagree and that he sells a hell of a lot of books for someone who can't write. He repeats the same thing over and over and over again. He's recently released a book about a mermaid and it was a mermaid sat on the rock and the rock was in the sea and in the sea there was a rock and on the rock there was a mermaid. The mermaid, she had red hair and her hair was red but she sat there on the rock stroking her hair in the middle of the sea and the sea was... There are other words for mermaid, hair, rock, sea. You know, but he doesn't do that, he just keeps the same thing. So we've now got this ongoing joke. And also John E. Stiff, Johnny e. Stiff, used to wrote a book many years ago and in the end of it, there was a, a chapter and they were inside a spherical sphere that was spherical and sphere-like and had spherical stairs and stairs and that were stair-like and spheres and stairs and circles and spheres and circles and stairs and spheres and spheres that circles and circles that spheres and spheres inside circles and circles inside stairs and stairs inside circles and spheres and spheres and spheres. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, use another word! <clears throat> So Mark Phillips Photography, Mark Phillips Photography is really cool. He gets like a model and then puts them on the ground and takes photos of them in scenes. So that things, I went and looked at his videos, they're quite cool and he's actually going me some ideas how to take photos. He wanted the XPS phone and this was like four months ago and I messaged and replied but I don't think I got a reply. Then I found this stuff and that was after, that was like three months ago. Hopefully he's seen that or he'll see this, it comes back to me, I'll find the link and send it. Ah, this thing. I got it out just for this comment. SPM36, he said mine stopped working after six months. Mine lasted a year. This is useless. We've done everything we can to make this work again. We've taken it apart, we've cleaned it, we've stripped it, we've wiped it, we've done it. Put paint in it and the paint comes out there, it goes there. The ends of these block and they become useless. But that still works. So you can buy new heads on eBay and they're like £11. So I probably will do that soon. What can I make that into? Watch this space, that may end up being something. The Sketchboard Pro has had tons of views. Loads and loads of people watch that. Right. I want to sell it. I don't use it. I've literally bought it, used it like half a dozen times. It's up to, for sale. I had someone ask for it, um, but they were in Australia. It would have cost too much to send. It was better just 
buy an indirect but if you want to buy one leave me a comment the tiny wherever they are the babiaga figures looking at these now i'm like i think i've improved since then because she's got no features on her face this was like oh, six months ago painting them and asked, have i ever done warhammer i did i had rows and rows of warhammer figures and i painted tons of them god knows how much i spent buying warhammer figures because now they're like 40 pound each and, and i kind of mentioned this in a video recently but i i did have like lots of arts related things i had cubist ones and pointillist ones and surreal ones where his head was warped and you know, I, i've all set fire to things i think i set fire to it, melted it and, and i would redo it but yeah to buy a, a box of warhammer space marines do them up and make them into something random would end up costing a lot of money so i was thinking about doing a collab with somebody but they end up that was going to cost too much money i'd make videos on the on the cheap i'm not spending 100 pound and so on a video when i'm not getting the money back so thanks for the offer um you know who you are i just can't really justify it i want to make some warhammer so if you've got a ton of warhammer figures you want to get rid of leave me a comment we'll make a video out of it and i'll credit you bill wyman bill wyman commented on my video if you don't know who that is Contemporary reference for 18 to 24 year olds, isn't it, Peter? Bill Wyman used to be the guitarist in Rolling Stones. Yeah, he left a comment in my TikTok about my mum. He didn't know my mum. I don't mean no mum. But my mum used to dance like uh, Mick Jagger when she was drunk. Who's this? Diane Stevenson said, I need a Dremel. Still haven't got a Dremel. I've got this. I've improved. The one I had before would turn off every time you buzzed and it was a freehand. This is good, but bloody hell is it fast. You put them in, it's like, Ugh. you end up across the room. Dog Dog, who's now down there and asleep on the floor, she was sleeping on the floor. Progress is, she's doing well, she's doing okay. At the start of the year, it looked like she was going to be put down because she couldn't walk. We've just been through about a one and a half kilometer walk. She's fine, she gets a bit tired. But she's getting better and she's doing okay. She's having hydrotherapy. You may have seen the shorts videos. And if you watch the Out and About videos, I think up there and down below, you'll see her out and about with us on our, we made a walk up and we've done this entire walk around London. I'm starting right in the center, St Paul's Cathedral, I'm going around. And it's called the Climbing Moss Heart of London Walk. Climbing Moss is our blog, uh, mine and Torres and so those. And we, did all the stages and all that, and you can do it too, and you can download the PDFs and go and follow it uh, if you go to the London Creative Out and About channel and see all the videos and that, and you'll see how well she's doing. I like Tricky Chez. You're so relaxing to watch. <laughs> I feel like I'm a chaotic mess. Uh, the old chair, absolutely right for, I love the storytelling and looking forward to more stories. Yeah, I did try and do the story with him. Telemann and tried to come out with a story based on that comment saying yeah I should do more stories so I'm constantly writing writing book number eight at the moment. but short stories and short things there's a story Conran Dahl nice just came across this how long have you known this channel's been going for like four years five years if you're not already aware and it started off as one thing it started off as just me talking doing whatever I could and going out and doing stuff and climbing and making stuff and painting things and whatever. And I realized it wasn't working. And no matter how much I did, it was, I was just on like 30 subscribers. People, those 30 people are the only 30 people in the world that seem to like the diversity. So last year, around August last year, I split the channel in two, and made the Out and About channel and made kept this the Creative channel. And it has improved. It's gone from that 35, 40 subscribers to 100 and well, 115, something like that. I'm, I'm making these videos every week and yet no one's seeing them. 95% of people are not subscribing. <sighs> Please subscribe. So yes, about four years. There is a lot of history, a lot of stuff I did. I had a portfolio career. Um, I was a photographer, I was a makeup artist. I well, worked on the market for Peter. He was in the LSA choir. I drove cars for Audi. I have done some, I worked for the BBC. I have done many, many, many things, diverse range of things to make money and to be creative. So, here's a short answer, <laughs> it was not that. YouTube channel is about four years. How long have I been creative? Always. 
I think we need done for now. And this is only this year, so this is quite impressive. The Koshiningo the Tub. It's a random title. This is a very impressive looking kit. This thing up here, Fire Demon. It says on the thing it's 24 centimeters, so it's like that big. It is definitely bigger. There is, down here, another one. I have had that for about three months, but because of other things and whatever, it's just sat there and I'll, I will get around to doing it and then there will be a video as well. Yeah, so there we go. That's that's pretty much a year's worth of comments. As I say, not a lot, but if you want to leave me comments on things, please do, because I will reply and then maybe in a year or do another Q&A where I'll follow up and tell everyone what you said. As for me, I just wanted, I said, I just wanted to do something a bit different that's not just making another model and time-lapsing it to random music. But that's what I do. I've got all of this XPS phone to use now. I have an idea of something to make, which was going to be the cloud, but I'm going to have to make it cheaply on my own. I have more figures and models and stuff to make. There is more flow art paintings to do. I think I'm going to see if I can work out to make the battleground. I think it was like two layers and blow it into the middle and make a, yeah, we'll see how that goes. It's a good idea. A couple of other random bits and pieces, there's stuff on order and uh, I've made another creative journal. I literally just made it about an hour ago and that's in review if that comes through. Also, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. And also if you're in America or somewhere or whatever, Europe, wherever, and you want to see someone's like out and about in London, there's the London Creative Out and About channel over there. And then there's this and it's split and there's the two things going on. So it's two videos most of the time, most weeks. That's enough, isn't it? Yeah, all of this and it's a grand total of 130 subscribers. Please subscribe, please. All right, go in now. I'm going to go and feed the dog. So until next time, when I come back and I'll make something or break something or burn something or poison myself. I haven't done that for a few weeks. Yes, I hope you liked this. hope that answers some questions. And uh, if you have more comments and questions, please leave them down below about any of the videos, any of the things, anything you want to know, talk to me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, thank you. Go now. Bye. Ben eats cement. I'll try it again. It's vegan. It says it already. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding, I know too many. I used to know pretty much all the vegans in London because he's a climber and a lot of climbers were vegans. And I used to know so many. Oh, it's all got dark and the ring lights lit up. The kind of thing I'm now, now making break, they, the, the killing people that make noise still hasn't happened. But there is so much noise. My dog has not shut up all day. You'd think someone would shut him up or go and work out why he's barking. But no, why would you? Um... Thank you.